Hello! It's another beautiful day at the beach. We've been down here all week working. Look at how gorgeous it is. And took down the St. Patty's Day stuff. And it's, it's cold. It's like, mm, it was like 30 degrees last night. So we came down here and finished the last big stuff we were going to do. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. We just have little stuff now. So kitchen is done. Except <laughs> we're going to put a reveal up here, a board to hide the light and it'll match the ones that are in the bedrooms. So this is all done. <sighs> yep. Yep. Turn this light up. So, yeah. That's excellent. Living room has been done for a while. Then we put a little thing up there. And so the bathroom was a bear. Oh, we put this sliding door. I love these bifold sliding doors. I don't know if you can see it. They go in a track up there. We like them so much we're going to get three for down here that match. We got two on these. I'm going to put one in the bathroom too. This is, we're going to paint, and what we have left to do is we're going to paint this closet white inside. This is Mr. Retro stuff. Ooh, look, there's this tool bucket. And it's great to big boots. Let's see, here's that. Here's that door we put in. It was actually very easy to put in. And it looks very period and uh, appropriate for a trailer. Same old thing in here. Nothing new really. Oh, this is where I put the light. I'm not sure if I showed that. Same thing in here. Pretty much. Y'all. He's waiting in repose. And here. We might put a new nightstand in, but we're not sure yet. So this room's pretty much done, too. Here's the main event. Let me see. I turn this off? No, I think it's better if I have it on. New vanity. The old vanity was was original to the house, but it was tired. It didn't have any doors. It had a um, sheet on a string in front of the doors. So we got this one. It's got a nice modern. I got the faucet that was on display in the store. And then I... Let's see. Here's... Here. It's just... They don't even give, you know, this wasn't like a cheap vanity. But they didn't even give me a shelf. Look at the plumbing here. Yikes. That was so much fun. Mr. Redrose just had a blast doing that. <clears throat> they don't even give you a shelf with the thing. It's kind of irksome, but that's okay. I used this peel and stick. Let me see here. Backsplash stuff along here because it needs a little something along the edges to seal that and then I did the floor that was also tons of fun this is the second floor see when they put this floor in here this one we had to put down 3 8 inch plywood first and then they put the flooring in so it raised it up quite a bit right here so there was a transition that was you know you really stepped down so I thought oh I'll get tile that's about a quarter inch. I'll put it down. Oh, Home Depot tile. The ma uh, mastic they sent, told me to buy. I opened it up, dried out. So I had some old mastic, used that, put it down. That tile was so thin and awful, plus it was gray. <clears throat> it was more gray than I thought it was going to be. That when you stepped on them, they broke. So, back to plan B. These are peel and stick, and I like it way better. Plus, I just used the old tile to raise this level up. So, that's my story on that. And this is done. So, I think this is pretty... Oh, and then we used leftover molding that they left from doing our floors and put it in here around to finish it off. I thought, okay, Let's see. But it came out pretty nice. There it is. There we go. So we're pretty happy with that, that that's done. Because that was 
not a lot of fun. So I think that's pretty much it for now. So I shall see you later. Bye-bye.